Hey, welcome back to Eased Edge. We've now created our first customer. We created an estimate for that customer. Let's, let's hop over to that customer and we're gonna create an event. Basically, we've completed the estimate and let's say that customer sent back an email and says, hey, we're good to go. I like it, let's move forward with the job. Next process is moving the status, moving the uh, that job to the relevant status. So it's one, I'm just gonna skip over most likely one. That's kind of a holding place for the really hot leads. A lot of times that gets skipped, it goes straight from lead to one. So I'm gonna convert that job to a one job. It's pretty cool here, you see when I go to convert this to the next status, it shows here that I've got an automatic email set up for that, uh, for that function. Um, we'll go over automatic emails in another video. In this case, I'm gonna uncheck that automatic email that would have otherwise have gone to that customer in the event that we won the job and I'm just gonna update the status so that job is now in one. That's gonna send me the task to update estimate and approval. Again, don't forget that the tasks are all customizable. A lot of people don't use this actual task for this status. It's just something we have here in the demo software um, just to kind of show how the tasks work. The job is one, whatever you do in your company in, at this stage, um, whether it's communicating with the customer as to the template time, um, that's probably the most likely thing you'll do is call them, say, hey, when are you ready for template? And they say, um, next week on Wednesday, I'm ready. So what I would do if I was the salesperson here is I would go into the activity feed inside the job file and I would say um, they're ready for template uh, Wednesday next week. And I would tag the scheduler in this event, save it. It's saved to that customer file. It also emails, since I tagged the scheduler, it's going to email them this verbiage particular to this job. That job is now ready to be scheduled. I can actually, the job's been won. I took care of you know figuring out when the template's ready, when they're ready to be templated. I can move that job now to working because it's ready to be scheduled, update status. I'm just going to, in this case, on the demo, I'm gonna delete that task. And it shows the next relevant task is to, for the scheduler to schedule the template. So I've got some activity in here and I've got a task here. Let's say I'm the scheduler. That task shows up on my dashboard now. I need to schedule the template for this job, Anderson. Here's how that's done. Inside the customer file, you've got your little calendar icon. I can go to a month view, see everything that's scheduled. Let's go to a week view. Again, there's very little here scheduled, nothing actually, since this is the demo software. But in order to schedule that, I'm gonna find my first opening and I can see by the activity that they're ready for Wednesday next week. So I'm gonna click over here, go to next Wednesday, and I'm gonna say, let's just make that the first one of the day. The easiest way to schedule is to select a time frame. Maybe your standard is three hours, maybe it's two hours, just to select a two hour slot in the day, 9 a.m. to 11. I've selected that two hour slot, and then I just need to assign that to template and then hit add event. Now, as you can see, that event is added and based on how we set up our, in our settings, it pulls over not only the primary estimate, which is the general information so the templater knows, but also some of the customer information. Your templater now can just click on this address on its phone and it'll open up his GPS or the phone number and it'll, it'll open up his phone app and he can call the customer and let him know he's on his way. I can also go to the list view and it shows me every event that's been scheduled for this particular customer. This is handy when you've had, you know, 10 different events scheduled for a customer and instead of hopping through the weeks and finding it, you just go to list and it shows everything that's been scheduled. You can also click on it from here and see the um, the information, if there's any notes, um, check it out. Another cool feature with uh, scheduling events for a customer is inside that event, you can confirm the event. You got a little three dot menu button up here, request confirmation by email. You would then select email the customer, send a copy to someone in the company 
typically the account manager. And then um, you could load an email template um, and then select who to send replies to. What this does is when you hit send, it sends a confirmation email to this customer, Anderson, that says, hey, we're coming out on this such and such date. Click this button to confirm the event. When they click that button, it automatically shows right in here, this box will actually get checked and it shows that it's been checked by the customer. They've confirmed the event. So a little automation there, pretty cool. Um, obviously it involves setting up some email templates, um, which is no big deal. We'll go over that in another video, but congratulations, you just scheduled your first event, which is a template for next Wednesday. Very simple to do. One other quick thing, you can schedule that from this um, line here. You can go in and select who you're scheduling it for, in this case, the templater, and it would be next Wednesday at nine o'clock, end date, same day at 11. So another way to do it, I think it's a little bit clunkier. I like to go and select a time block in the calendar and then just hit add event. Another thing you can do similar to other calendar apps is depending on if the event gets changed, updated, you can actually drag the event to different days. You can change the amount of time that a event takes. It's a very flexible calendar. And this, again, this is just a view of the calendar inside the job file. Now, if I go to the actual calendar view, Let's say I organize by template. I want to see all the templates that are on. I'll go to next week. I'll sort by week. Go to next week and I can see that Anderson is on for template next Wednesday. So there we are. See you on the next video.